I'd like to show you how I uh, use a group uh, Google Sheets and use that to group students so I can move students around and see how I want to group them. Okay. This is using my class version of the um, past, the phonological awareness uh, screening test by Kilpatrick. Here, this is the class version here. And I've collected data. So let's say I've got, I've collected data here on Sam Smith. So I would change the name here, put in the date, change the name here. You just go to the drop down, rename and change the name here. When I do that for each student, collect the data, put his name in here, that then transfers here. See, so here's Sam Smith and here are all the correct scores and automatic scores. And I didn't complete the test, but let's say I've done that for my however many kids in my class, and I have up to 30. So you have up to 30 students here. But now that I have the scores in here, well, you know, data should make it easy for us to work with the students so we can see how to group them. So let's say I want all the students who are having trouble at the uh, beginning phoneme level together. So let's say that was Sam, and it's the student four. So I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna say, I want student four with Sam. I click and drag, so I highlight all of that. And then, oh, it takes a little bit of fussing of, I don't want that double arrow. I'm gonna put it here, there. Put it on one of the lines and left click again. So I have that closed fist and that's telling you it's grabbing it. Then I take that and I'm gonna stick that up here right next to Sam. So student four is in that group and I go down, look up the data. Oh, this one is also having trouble uh, at that level. So I'm going to highlight these two. I don't want that double arrow. I'm gonna put it where I have the hand, double uh, left click again, grab it and bring him up by Sam and student four. So I can move the students based on what I'm seeing and the scores to group it. And I would go through and I'd make this group and then this group and then this group. And then if I, it's like, oh, it's not even, I can then move the students again to put it into groups that I like. And that's how I would group data, or group students according to the data. Uh, so it's like shuffling your sheets, right? Your sheets of paper, but this one is done here. And, um, that makes it easier to follow the groups and, and see where the students are. So I hope that's helpful.